what to do. I'm kind of scared to sh to cut the hair any much shorter than this, though. I'm like, what is this even? So, did I just punch myself in the face? Hold it. Got the donkey, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want to deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your turn, Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. And now we are best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on my social media and join the fam, okay? Okay, so first off, before we even get into the video, let me apologize, honey, for a couple of things. For one, the quality sucks in this video. For two, y'all didn't get an actual introduction. And for three... I'm starting off a diva cut video in the middle of my cuts. I know, I'm sorry, bear with me. Basically what had happened was my SD card and my camera literally failed me, girl. Girl, she put my ass on the back burner. She don't work. I got to go out and buy a new one. So I lost all that footage. So I'm currently recording on my phone, okay? So again, I apologize. Bear with me. We're going to make it work though, okay? Because I didn't want to just throw this footage away. So anyways, what I'm doing right now is creating a diva cut for myself at home. This is the first time I ever done it. And I think I did a pretty good job. So let me basically tell you what a diva cut does. You basically have to cut your hair in this natural dry state. You're doing this so you don't have to worry about shrinkage. You don't have to worry about, oh, my hair looks like this wet, but how would it look dry? No, you're going to cut your hair in its naturally dry, curly state. What you're going to need is your curls, yourself, some clips or some scrunchies, and you're going to want to use hair cutting shears, okay? I don't have the best hair cutting shears right now, but don't do as I do, baby. Do as I say, okay, period. All you're going to do is gather some hair cut it at the length that you want and basically use that piece as a guide um i did section by section for each side and i just moseyed my way to the top um i kind of was confused on if i wanted to do bangs or not so i kind of did an in-between length and it kind of looks a little weird but we made it we we pulled it together in the end okay so yeah let me tell you the reasons why i decided to give myself a diva cut if you saw the beginning of my TikTok, which I will insert right now. It don't move my hair. It don't move. It don't move my hair. It don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? My hair. It don't move my hair. My hair. My hair. It don't move my hair. My hair. My hair. It don't move. Yo, look. Yo, look. Yo, look. In that TikTok, you see how my hair is completely different on the left side versus the right side. The left side is dry, it's dull, it appears to be longer, but that's because it is terribly, terribly heat damaged. I straightened my hair once around Christmas time, really for you guys, and I just wanted to show y'all my hair growth, and I wanted to do a length check. Didn't work out in my favor. I must have been putting too much pressure or heat on the left side of my hair versus the right side. Because the right side is bouncy, still has nice, cute, coiled curls intact, and nothing's really wrong with it. So, yeah. I can't go around looking willy-nilly anymore, so I decided to cut my hair. This diva cut was very difficult for me because... My hair is completely different on each side, so the right side appears to be more full, more fluffy, and it has tighter curls because I don't have as much damage on that side. Also have more shrinkage. So in dry and wet states, my hair completely curls. It curls up differently on that side, so it's actually really hard to make my hair look symmetrical but i think in the end i did the best that i could and i'm just gonna have to work on making my left side stronger and more healthy so yeah that's the reason as to why i want to cut my hair and honestly if you are going through something similar i definitely suggest that you do this because afterwards i felt super duper free okay
Okay, you guys, so as you can see, we have much shorter hair besides these two parts in the front. Also, I'm so sorry. I don't know if, like, I mentioned this earlier, but if I didn't, girl, I had to change from my camera to my phone because it wanted to not read my memory card. Like, what? I don't have another one. Well, I actually do have another one. Just don't, I don't know where it is. But anyways, that's the situation, girl. I'm coming back on here to talk to you guys because we have to start forming the bang area. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm nervous, you guys. I don't know if my hair is technically the same length because as you can see, this side looks shorter because my curls are tighter. So, like, <sighs> I just may not be wearing my hair out because I still don't know. Like, my hair texture is completely different on each side. I don't, what am I to do? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, girl. I knew that was going to be a situation, too. But I didn't, it's not like I wanted my hair to be uneven. Like, my hair was never uneven. So, I didn't want to make that a problem. I just wanted, I don't know how to do this. I just wanted my head to not have heat damage no more. Like, I didn't want my head to also be uneven. So, I wasn't about to purposely cut this side longer because this side has more shrinkage. I just wasn't going to do that, honey. So, if my hair about to be appearing to be shorter on one side just because this curl decided to get itself together, then so be it. But what I think is, I just have a lot of frizz on this side. So, hopefully, once I go put my products in it and, you know do what it needs to do baby you know make the hair do what it needs to do then hopefully she'll look cute hopefully so what i'm doing right now is pulling these pieces to the front and i want bangs so i think but you're supposed to what i want to do is brush my hair right here because i have gel at the roots of my hair but I don't want to put, I don't want to put water on my hair because you're supposed to do your deeper cut with short hair. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is gather these pieces to the front, calling all the hoochies to the front. And I'm going to start short. I mean, I'm going to start long. Like no one's bang should be this long and see what it look like. Because now, isn't this longer? This is shorter. Yep, now this is shorter than these hairs. Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm kind of scared to, sh to cut the hair any much shorter than this, though. So, this just looks about to give, honey, because I kind of still want to be able to put my hair in cute little top knot situations and stuff and buns and ponytails period so let me see what it'll look like what it's gonna give if i put my hair in the <sighs> i shouldn't have did that i shouldn't have cut i shouldn't have tried to do bangs okay we got a little poof back there and let's see if we put it to the top Girl, all the hair in the back can't reach. Okay, so I don't know how those styles are going to go. But anyways, I feel free, y'all. I feel... <laughs> I feel free, okay? And that's really all I care about. So, right now what I'm going to do is start putting some products in my hair. Um, I'm going to drench my hair in water because I wash a lot of... Um, wash and goes and that's what they did they said your hair forms into its curl that's when it's wet I don't know where I should be looking I'm sorry if I look cross-eyed right now I'm used to my camera girl and I'm also going to add some Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer Smoothie to use as like my styling my styling cream and then for my roots because they be cray cray I'm also going to use some Eco 
Oh, and if I need help detangling, I'm going to use this Kinky Curly Not Today Detangler. It's a leave-in. I love this, and it smells really good. So it's Shea Moisture. So, yeah. Also, before we move on, let me show you guys a lot of hair. We got rid of a good amount. What I'm about to do now is split my hair in half. And we're going to section off this back here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm also not going to record this entire situation because my phone is dying. Y'all know I'm not even used to recording with my dad on phone. I'm like, what is this even? So, did I just punch myself in the face? So now what I am going to do on camera a little bit is show you guys the products that I decided to use for my wash and go. Hopefully, I will have some links down in the description box for you. They will be magic links, so if you click on them, I will get some affiliated coin, baby. So, make sure that you click. Even if you don't purchase, just click, girl, okay? Um. So, yeah, these products really work well for my hair. They do make my hair a little bit crunchy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lighten up on the gel. But other than that, you know, the products are like each other, meaning that it does not leave any white cast on my hair. It doesn't clump. It doesn't feel weird or weird texture, none of that. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing a complete beginning to end wash and go routine, including how I diffuse, how I stretch, how I pluck, how I style my bangs, because I do use bobby pins. Comment down below. I will definitely, definitely film that for you guys. And of course, it would be with better quality, okay? So um, I think I'm just going to continue doing these steps, and I'm probably going to come back and talk to you guys on camera in just a minute. But Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And comment down below what tips and tricks you guys have for me for growing my hair, for making it healthy again, and for what products y'all use on a regular or for your wash and go. It would be very much so appreciated.
that. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty even except for the fact that this half may take a little longer to dry. So hopefully she, you know, screws up. But um, I didn't do much to the bang situation yet because I really don't know how this is going to work out curl. But the curls are definitely looking juicy. Okay. They're definitely looking juicy on both sides. This side is just a little bit more, you know, but hopefully the heat and once it dries, it'll be cute. Okay, so I am going to diffuse my hair off camera. I'm going to come back when my face is beat and, you know, I look a little bit more presentable. So, yeah, I will be back in a jiffy. Okay, you guys, so your girl is back and bald-headed. It's like, nah, your girl's back with the haircut, and I absolutely love it, okay? Um, so cutting it, it was at my shoulder, but shrinkage, obviously, it's around, like, not my ear, not my shoulder, jawline situation going on, okay? I love it. I still have heat damage on this side. The curl texture is definitely different from this side. But um, it looks more uniform, and it has more shape. As you can see, I try my best to give myself the heart shape. Um, girl, it was a little complicated because I have two completely different textures on each side. And also, my bangs are not this short. I have a couple of bobby pins up here. So, yeah, if you guys would like to see a thorough, in-depth um, wash and go tutorial of how I of how I do all the products, how I include all of the products that I just showed you, and then how I... Um, what is it called? Diffuse my hair and how I stretch my hair a little bit because, girl, my hair not this big. And how I pin my bangs and all that. Girl, comment down below. Let me know. And I will definitely film that for you guys. But, yeah. I want to be my face. I'm cute. Doing a little shirt. I feel so cute and so fresh and so free. And just, oh, my hair is so lightweight now. And... I, 9 to 5, 10, I can do the same exact styles I was always doing. I am staying away from heat completely, okay? And do know that when I diffuse and stretch my hair, it's always on cool heat, cool air, cool heat, whatever. But yeah, y'all, that wraps up this video. I'm so upset that my camera kind of messed up. I'm not sure if I still have that footage. Hopefully, I do. But this is the final result. How y'all like me? How y'all like my cut? Oh, shit. This is a new setup. I am not used to it, but how y'all like the cut, baby? I'm living for it, okay? The curls are popping. My hair, it does move, okay? For you. All right, I'm rocking. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, mamas. Hold it. Got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.